Hi everyone, welcome back to the IT and Psychology YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing the Excel Solutions in Chapter 4 of Psychology Cognitive Processes. So, we'll start, before we start here, uh, I would like to tell you that I have completed four chapters of psychology that include the concepts explanation and the excess solutions along with our four chapters completed in IT out of six chapters including the concepts explanation and the thorough discussion of uh, excess solutions. So you can watch them via the playlist link given in the description. And if you have any doubts pertaining in the pre in the previous videos, you can contact me on the group for doubts on Telegram by the link given in the description. So let's start. Question one: Choose the correct alternative and complete the sentences. So the first question here is: When we select few stimuli from the environment and bring them into the center of our awareness, it is called dash. So the answer here is option A, attention. So the statement would be, when we select few stimuli from the environment and bring them into the center of our awareness, it is called attention. The next question says, Ivan Pavlov is known for explaining learning by dash. So here the answer is classical conditioning. As we had learned in part two of cognitive processes, you can check that out by the link given in the description. So we will continue to our third question that is when we organize the information from the environment, group them and give some meaning that process is called dash. So this process is option B perception. So the statement would be when we organize the information from the environment, group them and give some meaning that process is called perception. Then we have the fourth question that is in operant conditioning. The experiment was conducted on dash. So here we know that in operate, operant conditioning, the operation was, uh, sorry, yeah, the experiment was conducted on a rat. So the answer is option B. Then question number five, the change in behavior due to practice or experience is known as dash. So the answer here is option C, learning. The change in behavior due to practice or learn, sorry, or experience is known as learning. Then we continue to our question number two. Answer briefly in 30 to 40 words. Question one here is what is fluctuation of attention? So here the first pointer is attention keeps oscillating like the pendulum of the clock. Second pointer, we cannot pay attention to a single stimulus for a long period of time. Our attention shifts towards other stimulus for a fraction of time and comes back to the original stimulus. This phenomenon is known as the fluctuation of attention. So I would suggest you write exactly how I have written it here or you should consider writing it in your own words so that you will be natural in what you write. But it should be, it should have the keywords given in the textbook. Then we continue to our next question. Give three examples of top down processes in perception. The first example here is if we read a book and some of its words are blurred due to a few sprinkles of water droplets, we are still able to perceive the context, sorry, the content entirely based on the context. The next example is many times when we are on phone call, the voice may break due to bad connectivity. Even when we miss a few words, we still perceive what the other person has to say. Then we have our next example. If a person's handwriting is difficult to understand, we may find it easier to perceive the content when we read complete sentences rather than when we read isolated words. So this was our question number two. Then we have question number three. What is meant by thinking? Thinking is the mental activity that uses various cognitive elements and processes. It involves manipulation of information, problem solving, reasoning, as well as decision making. Thinking is private and internal to ourselves. So this was uh, the definition of thinking. Then I'll scroll down to question number four. Describe any two processes of learning. So the two processes we'll be explaining in this question would be learning by observation and learning by cognitive processes. 
so we we'll start with learning by observation according to bandura we learn many things by observing someone's behavior and later reproducing it many of our skills like eating work sorry walking writing etc are learned by observing others we observe and imitate not only the movements of the body but also certain ways of thinking evaluating judging and decision making etc then we have our next method next process that is learning by cognitive processes just when skinner and pavlov were talking about connections and consequences of behavior edward tolman demonstrated that through rats in his experiment were not given any food they still learned about the different pathways in a maze that means rat created maps in the mind just for the sake of it his experiment demonstrated that learning may take place in the in the mind using mental processes what we call cognitive processes now so i'm i apologize for the smelling mistake uh, just correct it and write it in your own words if possible then we have our question number 3 classify the following into mental representation concepts and schemata so the first one given to us is image of your mother in your mind so this is a mental representation as you have already seen your mother so you have a image build up if someone asks you what your mother looks like then we have a second question that is building so this will come to you as a concept the next one is tree this this again is a concept the next one is school this will come to you as a schemata i have written it as schema but next we have table this is our concept of thinking then we have theater that is schema again neil armstrong schema so these were your answers please take a screenshot i'll be uploading this pdf on uh, the patreon page and if you want to support the channel or uh, you want exclusive notes of it and psychology you can follow me on patreon by the link given in the description so let's continue question number 4 find odd one out the first one given to us is schema perception attention and thinking so out of this schema is the odd one out this perception attention and thinking are totally different then we have the second one searching solution defining problem incubation implementation of the solution so out of this incubation is the odd one out third one here is reasoning judgment decision making and relaxing out of this relaxing is the odd one out then we continue to fourth one concept schema solution mental representation out of this solution is the odd one out so we'll move forward to our question number 5 identify if the following behaviors are due to learning or not give reason, reasons for your answers after much hard work you are able to perform a dance step properly so your answer is in this case the behavior can be attributed to learning this is because i have learned to perform a dance step properly after practicing it a lot then we continue to our second one second behavior in spite of getting hurt shaina a 5 year old child continues to play with knife in this case the behavior can't be attributed to learning this is because even after her past experiences shaina has not learned that she could she should not play with knife in order to avoid getting hurt then we continue to our third behavior once hanif had to pay fine for breaking the signal while driving the car now he makes sure to stop at the car at every red signal in this case the behavior can be attributed to learning this is because hanif has learned that he should follow certain driving rules based on his past experience so this was our question number 5 then we continue to our question number 6 answer the following questions with the help of the given points explain the stages of problem solving the points given to us are defining problem generating alternative solutions selecting solution implementing and taking follow up of the solution so i'll just scroll down so that you guys can see the answer i'll read it out to you defining problem while defining a problem person needs to identify and define the problem correctly 
if a person defines it incorrectly he will never teach the solution reads the solution then we have a second pointer that is generating alternative solutions for every problem there are various solutions out of which only one will be effective in this step a person tries to search for all possible outcomes that can solve a problem this is not very effective the third one selecting solution a person selects one solution out of many possible ones based on his reasoning ability reasoning ability enables him or her to solve problems more realistically he or she may select an option which helped him or her to solve a similar problem in the past then we have our fourth pointer that is implementing and taking follow up on the action sorry on the solution a person actually tries out a certain solution and evaluates the outcome on the basis of whether it has helped him to resolve the problem or not if the problem is still unresolved he might have to go to one of the previous steps and carry out the problem solving procedure again so this was our part 1 then we continue to our second question explain the stages of creative thinking with the points given preparation incubation illumination and verification we start here with our first point of preparation is the stage of formulating the problem and gathering information finding new solutions creative ideas do not come from a vacuum many tentative solutions are tried out and discarded no progress seems to be made in this stage then we continue to our uh, incubation stage during incubation state the person is so frustrated that he even thinks of giving up he then leaves the problem and focuses on things unrelated to the problem incubation may help the person to work on the problem without consciously thinking about it this period though appears to be non fruitful is followed by sudden appearance of the solution then we continue to our third point of illumination after incubation the correct solution suddenly appears in mind and the person experiences a rush of excitement all the bits and pieces of ideas which appeared to be unrelated earlier fall into place the solution that appears is nearly next to the perfect a person experiences joy knowing that he has found a new idea a new solution following the euphoria of illumination stage the new solution still needs to be tested so this is the verification stage in most cases it requires only minor changes however at times it may require a lifetime of study testing and retesting then we continue to our question number 7 answer the following questions in detail the first one given to us is explain the laws of perceptual organization so we start with our first law law of proximity the stimuli that are near to each other are perceived together than stimulus that are far away from each other so only the stimuli that are near to each other are perceived rather than the ones that are far from each other then we continue to our next law that is the law of similarity the stimuli that are similar to each other are perceived together than stimuli that are distinct from each other so this is the example given in the textbook as well then we have a la sorry uh, the third law that is law of continuity there is a tendency to perceive a stimulus in continuation according to its established direction when two st two stimuli intersect the continuation of each stimulus is perceived apparently so this is our diagram for that law of closure according to this law perceptual organization there is a tendency to perceive an incomplete stimulus in a complete manner our brain fills up the gaps in incomplete stimulus and we perceive it as a meaningful figure so this was our first question we for move forward to the second question explain the core elements of thinking so this has been mentioned on page number 37 and 38 please refer those pages and thank you for watching you've been a lovely audience if you have any doubts pertaining this uh, this video you can contact me on the group for doubts on telegram and if you want to support the channel follow me on patreon and please like share and subscribe take care